So you bought the aisle and don't know where to start? In this video, I will teach you all the basic stuff in the game. First, make sure you are in the correct version of the game called Everyma. Go to your Steam. Right click the game. Properties. Features. And select Everyma here. If you have any issues, feel free to drop a comment below or join my community server for a quicker response. Link in description. In this part, you will have for choices. Either choose what dinosaur you want to be, or, if you prefer, spawn directly in someone's nest. If the X button is green, it means there's a nest available. Choose the nest you want to be born. Send a request and wait the parents confirm it. If they accept, you will now spawn directly in their nest. You can spam space but a hatch. By being a baby, you will need food and water from your parents. That is provided when you hold it to beg for food. The parents will share nutrients with you. Now, let's talk about these three. Best class to start with. Easy to feed and interact with other herbivores, as well as playing in a more defensive and group way. Fast and active gameplay style. You will always be doing something whether hunting or following your prey. You can be hunted by carnivores too. For now, the omnivores that exist on the isle only eat bots, so they don't need to hunt. The gameplay is exactly like the herbivore, but their diet range is wider because it includes air prey. Each dinosaur is special here. They all have different mechanics and unique animations. Just like most games, you can use WASD to move, shift to run, control to crouch and such. And of course, spacebar to jump. To perform the calls, just press 1, 2, 3, 4 or F. To use your attacks and skills you can press left mouse button for basic attack. Not all dinosaurs have all these attacks. All of them are different. Let's check a carnivore to compare. This is the Heron, our lit tree lizard. Its ability is to climb trees. Climbing trees is performed by the right mouse button, but it only works for Hera, since he carries the climbing ability. By checking every guide's playlist, you will find specific guides for each dinosaur of this game. Link in description. Press Z to alternate between trot and walk. If it's too dark, you can press X to activate night vision. The button is essential for your survival since you will use it for drinking, eating and other interactions. You can even hit in a mud pool to cloth your bleeding. 
you can hit G to grab food as a herbivore. If you're a carnivore, you can even drag bodies by holding G. If you need to rest, press H and if you want to sleep to leave the server, just hold down H and wait for the countdown. By doing this, you will safely log out and save your dinosaur. Hold Q to sniff around and see if there's any food nearby. If the food is your preferred, it will appear as a diet icon. If not, it will appear as other symbols such as a leaf, a bone, a meat piece, etc. To understand the diet system, feel free to check my diet's guide. After choosing the place where you will be born, you will have two paths. You can follow the paws to the migration or the palms to the sanctuary. In Sanctuary, you will be protected from bigger dinos as there are bees that prevent them from entering the zone. Here, as a herbivore or omnivore, you will find red mushrooms that will give you all three nutrients at the same time. After you grow a little, the bees will start to expel you. From then on, you will have to follow the migration to find food. For plant eaters, in migration, you will find all your diets each on a different plant, so you will have to move around a little bit to find them. You can also find other herbivores that share the same migration zone. For carnivores, the migration works like a hunting field. Here, you will find bots and players that are migrating, so keep your eyes open. Just be careful to not become the prey. This is a chicken, one of the bots that you can eat. You will only receive nutrient from it if it's your preferred food. As an example, we have this baby that is inside the migration and is hunting fish. Fish is in its diet, so the baby will receive nutrients from it. To check your growth, favorite food, weight, attack, and other things just press tab. On this screen, you have access to everything about your Dino. It is important to keep an eye on the status report. You can also check group, manage your nest, and some settings here. On the right of the screen, we have stamina, hunger, thirst, and three hexagons, where you can fill them with one of the three available diets. I usually call them dots, lines, S. In this chart, you can see that depending on the build you make, you will gain different buffs. To find out which food or Dino gives such a diet, check your tab. As a reminder, your preferred food will show as a nutrient icon for you. I can't say much here since this will come from your own experience, but here are some tips. Always stay alert when encountering another player. Some of them are not friendly even with their own species. As a new player, it is recommended that you play in a group. So call your friends to help. Be very careful where you drink water. At the moment we have two semi-aquatic dinos. One of them being the Dionysicus, the giant gator. The official servers have no rules, but most people understand that carnivores should not mix with other carnivores, even less with herbivores. This is called a mix pack. If you prefer, you can play on unofficial servers. They have some rules regarding this, which makes the experience more realistic and smooth. This guide was just a start for new players. After all, the R has many specific mechanics and unique abilities that you can discover by watching my videos. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Good game and happy hunting.